Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. And this session we will be exploring about biosensor and its role in cancer. So let's get started. Let's first understand what is biosensor. A biosensor is a device that combines biological elements such as enzymes, antibodies, aptamers, nucleic acid with a physicochemical transducer to detect and quantify specific biological or chemical substances. The biological element interact with target analyte, producing a measurable signal that can be converted into a quantitative result. So these are the most common types of biosensor which we used in biotech and biopharma. The number one is enzyme-based biosensor, antibody-based biosensor, DNA-RNA based biosensor like aptamer-based aptosensors. There are also whole cell biosensor and microbial biosensors. You can also use optical and electrochemical biosensor. You can also utilize thermal and nanotechnology based biosensor. These biosensors are mostly applied in various sectors such as medical diagnostic and point of care testing. They can also be utilized in environmental monitoring. They can be utilized in food quality and safety assessment. Along with that, you can also use these specific biosensors for bioprocess monitoring and control. Additionally, these can be utilized in detection of pathogen and toxin and can be utilized for diagnostic purpose. Along with that, these also play a significant role in pharmaceutical research and drug development. And these days, they are having a significant role in wearable health monitoring devices for real-time monitoring. Let's see what are the recent trends that is happening in biosensor. The number one is aptamer based biosensor. As I mentioned in many of my past videos that aptamer are single standard DNA, RNA or peptide molecule that binds to a specific target molecule with high affinity and selectivity. They are being increasingly used in recognition element in biosensor due to its stability and ease of synthesis. The another sector is your smartphone based biosensor. The integration of biosensor with smartphones allow for easy data collection, analysis and communication, enabling the point of care testing in remote and resource limited settings. The another area is flexible and wearable biosensor. These biosensors are designed for continuous monitoring of biomarker and health parameter in real time. The another significant area in biosensor sector is your IoT enabled biosensor that is Internet of Things. Biosensor connected to Internet of Things platform enables remote monitoring and data sharing, improving the healthcare accessibility and facilitating the data driven decision making. Along with these, the another area is your multiplex biosensor. Advances in nanotechnology, microfluidic, AI machine learning, IoT have led to the development of biosensor capable of detecting multiple analytes simultaneously. The another sector is paper-based biosensor. These are simple, low-cost biosensor printed on the paper substrate which are being explored for the use in resource-limiting setting, particularly in the developing country. Biosensor along with nanotechnology is also playing significant role. Nanomaterials such as quantum dot and carbon nanotubes are being integrated into biosensor to improve sensitivity and selectivity as well as for targeted drug delivery in cancer treatment. Here's a five-way biosensor are helping in cancer studies. It can help us in the early cancer detection. Biosensor can detect cancer biomarkers in blood, saliva, urine sample at early stages allowing for timely diagnosis and intervention. It also helps in monitoring the treatment responses. Biosensor can track cancer-specific biomolecule during treatment, helping to assist the effectiveness of therapies and enabling personalized treatment plan. It also plays significant role in liquid biopsy. Biosensor enables the detection of circulating tumor cells and cell-free tumor DNA in the blood sample, providing a minimum invasive alternative to the traditional tissue biopsy for monitoring disease progression and treatment responses. Along with these, it also plays a vital role in cancer drug development. Biosensors are used in drug screening assays to evaluate the effectiveness of potential anti-cancer drug and helping in the discovery of new therapeutic agents. And lastly, in the point of care testing. 
Portable biosensor can be used to detect cancer biomarker, facilitating the early diagnosis and improving the patient outcome. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor. If you have any queries and if you are interested in cancer research and training, you can contact us. Thank you.